I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a little humming. You hear the humming? I'm at the Kashiwadai power plant. This building behind me is a 2.7 megawatt capacity run of the river hydroelectric power plant. Japan's not the best suited for building dams. The underlying geology isn't that structurally solid for big dams. The reservoirs would be narrow and fill with sediment very quickly. There's high hazard of earthquake risk, which could lead to dam failure, which you definitely don't want. But it does have mountains and it does have abundant rainfall and snowfall. So hydroelectric power does seem like a natural. What a lot of power generation in Japan relies on is what's called these run of the river power plants. There are dams that generate power in the traditional reservoir way across Japan, but these run of the river power plants are also fairly common. The Kashiwa Dive facility generates 2.7 megawatts. It pulls water from upstream. It actually recycles the water from another power plant. There's a, another power plant farther upriver that then once it generates the power then it goes back into a pipe and there's underground pipes that come down the hill through here and into the power plant and they have a really high drop. The same way, the same way water drops through a dam to, to drive turbines at the bottom, this the pipes are just a lot longer and way up the hill so the water has enough drop that has a, a really high pressure and it runs a big turbine inside this one building and generates power. Another cool part about the power generation here is that I, I see power lines there. I think they're coming in. I don't think the power out actually comes out of here above ground. I think it goes out below ground. I don't see any major um, high, um, high voltage transmission lines. So I think that's just the backup power if they have to shut down the generator and do maintenance and just run the lights and run machinery inside the, the building. Uh, so there's no, there's no high, high transmission power lines outside here. I'm assuming that it goes um, out to ground and then they, they put it in a trench just like they have the water coming in uh, underground as well.